Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power 3 plus x is equal to 30. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we will take this 30 to the left side. So, it will be this, which is x power 3 plus x. This 30 will take to this side to be minus 30 is equal to 0. Then, in the next step, it will be x power 3 plus x then minus this 30. 30 is same as 27 plus 3. Bracket is equal to 0. Then, we will take this negative inside the bracket. So, it will be x power 3 plus x. Here, it will be minus 27 minus 3 is equal to 0. Then from here it will be x power 3, then this minus 27, then plus x, then minus 3 is equal to 0. Then it will be x power 3 minus 27 is same as 3 power 3. Then you can place here bracket, they have same power 3. Then plus this x minus 3, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from this part here, here x power 3 minus 3 power 3, this is in the form of a perfect cube. So we'll apply a perfect cube in this form, whereas this is in the form of a power 3 minus b power 3, which is equal to a minus b, bracket, bracket, a square plus ab plus b square, bracket. Then we'll apply this form. Of a minus b it will be x minus 3 so here x minus 3 bracket then bracket a square it will be x square plus a b it will be x times 3 is 3 x plus b square it will be 3 square which is 9 bracket then plus this x minus 3 bracket is equal to 0 then the next step from here x minus 3 is common so we'll take x minus 3 bracket out of bracket then this divide by this it is this x square plus 3 x plus 9 then plus this divide by this it is 1 bracket is equal to 0 so it will be x minus 3 bracket bracket x square plus 3x plus 9 plus 1 it is 10 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution x minus 3 bracket is equal to this 0 and this second solution x square plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0 sorry in here no need of bracket so we we'll take negative 3 to this side so it will be x is equal to 3. So this is the first value of x, which is the real solution. Now to solve from this quadratic equation, we'll use quadratic formula to find the values of x. So from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b is coefficient of x which is 3 plus or minus square root of b squared will be 3 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 10 then over 2 times a is 1 then it will be x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 10 is minus 40 over this time this is 2 so it will be x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 40 is minus 31 over 2 so it will be x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of this negative here it is i times square root of 31 over 2 so from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus which are complex solutions therefore the first value of x is equal to this 3 which is the real solution the second value of x is equal to 
from here when it is positive to be minus 3 plus i square root of 31 over 2 so here minus 3 plus i square root of 31 over 2 the third value of x is equal to from here when it is negative to be minus 3 minus i square root of 31 over 2 so here minus 3 minus i square root of 31 over 2 so these are all the values of x in this our problem whereas you have one real solution and two complex solutions thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye